Hello everyone and welcome to STW Sports and today I'm joined by Tranmere Rovers fan Zach Hayes. Well first of all Zach, welcome and what are your thoughts on Tranmere going into this new season? It's an interesting one Sam. Um, like, like I said, there's some familiarity in the dugouts with Mickey Mellon returning but other than that it's um, it's a full-on rebuild. It's um, We'll be going into we'll be going into the uh, into the new season with a lot of new players, uh, not not many familiar faces. So um, it's certainly going to be interesting to see how it all pans out. I mean, with obviously the rebuild, just say, do you think it could be a good thing in a way that you didn't get promoted to League One? Then, if you you were going into the summer signing this many new players, um, perhaps. Um, obviously, if we were in League One, then maybe um, maybe the standard of player, maybe the quality of player. Um, available to bring in might uh, might have been a little bit different, but um, but what, what whatever whatever happens, um, it was it was obvious. Um, whatever division we were in this season would be would be going into it with a very different outlook. Um, I, I suppose maybe if we'd have been promoted, would have stayed, um, would have stuck with Keith Hill instead of bringing Mickey Mellon back. But um, but uh, uh, overall, I mean, I don't think there was um, I don't think there was really much hope of us getting promoted. Um, Anyway, I mean, this is this is what was expected um, after the last after the last few weeks of last season. So, um, you know, it, it's a fresh start. I mean, obviously, with Mickey Mellon returning, what are your thoughts? Though Mellon obviously did have some success at you in the past, back to back promotions. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on his his reappointment after a year away at Dundee? I'm very happy with it. Um, out, out of the names that were being mentioned, um, I think I think he was definitely um, definitely the best one. He knows the he knows the club. He knows how to. Um, he knows how to get the fans on side. Keith Hill clearly didn't with some of his comments that he made. Um, and, so he's, and he's got unfinished business as well uh, with how with how the 19 last 20 season ends with um, with him in charge. Um, I think he's definitely going to be out for vengeance of some sort. Um, I mean, he's. Um, I mean, I think he'll, he will still be a little bit disappointed that his time with Dundee United only lasted for one season. You know, because he um, he did what was asked of him up there. Um, you know, he, he kept them in the SPL, um, and I think they, I think he would have strengthened for next season as well, and um, and climbed higher up that table. But you, but you know, it, it is what it is. He's um, he's back where he's um, he's back in very familiar territory. Uh, he knows how to get promoted from League Two. He's done it twice now, I think, maybe three times. Um, like I can't, I know that he did it with Shrewsbury and with us. I can't recall if he did it with Fleetwood as well, but. Um, um, but f- from my per- my personal standpoint, is that I'm I'm very happy with this. Um, he kn- he knows how to he he knows the club. He knows how to negotiate a season in League Two, and um, and like like I said, he's um he, he's out he's out for vengeance. You know, he, he's out to get back to where you know where he and many of us will feel we shouldn't have left. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he has got a lot of promotions in his career, which certainly bodes well for the team, really. And with him already knowing the club, as you say, that could be a huge bonus as well. Uh, opening day of the season, you'll host Warsaw. Um, what are your yeah. thoughts on that game? Obviously, Warsaw, new manager as well. And it could be a guaranteed good game for Manny Mont, who's just left you to join Warsaw as well. Well, um, it's, it's at home, which is a good start. Um, you know, and that, it'll be good for all our new players to, uh, to immediately get familiar with the surroundings and with the crowds. Um, and I, and I don't really think there's anything. I don't think there's any such thing as an easy opening day opening day fixture or a favourable opening day fixture. You know, you've got no idea. Um, I mean, like you've got indications of how teams might do, but really, there's no there's no real. You know, you can't say for sure how every team is going to come out the blocks. You know, there's always a surprise team. So you know, for, for, I, I was indifferent as to who would guess. On the opening day, but it's it's a home game. It's a chance for the new players to um to get used to the surroundings, get used to the crowds, uh, hopefully get off get um get off and running. Um, will Manny Monte have a point to prove? I'm I'm not too sure because because uh, most of our fans still think quite highly of him, and maybe it was just time for a new challenge. But it will, again, that will that's another interesting thing to see. You know, just how he'll react to being back in such familiar surroundings for his first game with his new club. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, a word on James Vaughan as well, who has, did retire at the end of the season. Was that a surprise to you? He's still not, you know, he's still quite young, really. So, was it a surprise, or, or you know, what did you think of it at the time, really, as a Tranmere fan? I was gutted. Um, there were times last season when we were far too reliant on him. Um, you know, our form after his injury in February uh, speaks volumes. Um, I, I personally thought that he'd still have something to give, but. Um, 
but I, th- I think the knee injury was maybe the final straw. Unfortunately, he's had um, he's had a few injuries over the course of his career, um, and he uh, and he's he's been a little bit of a mercenary as well. You know, he's never really stayed at one club for more than uh, for more than a couple of years. Um, however, I did see an in- I did see an interview with him on a Samir podcast a few week- a couple of weeks ago, where he basically said that. Um, he he wanted to retire at the end of last season. He felt as though he wouldn't have much more to give, but because he because he felt so comfortable at Tamir and um, um, and because of the way that last season finished, you know, he felt as though he could still provide another season. But you know, if he do, if he if he does feel as though he doesn't have it in him to do another season, which I don't think he does, um, then you know, f- fair enough. Good luck to him. He certainly um, he certainly did us some good service last season. We certainly would not have finished as high up the table as we did without his contributions. And um, and when you consider that, when you consider that um, after February he was injured um, up it right up until the playoffs, that certainly speaks volumes about how good he was even in his last year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, you're going about the uh, the rebuild before the before the interview began. Um, obviously, the amount of players you are bringing in. I mean, how excited does that make you going into a new season that you do, will have maybe an entire new team? Um, but as as ever, I mean, I'm excited, but I'm, you know, I'm I'm keeping my feet on the ground as ever with us. Um, that there there is still apprehension. I think um, we've still not announced any pre-season fixtures as of yet. Um, you know, I, I think that's quite important that we get them sorted. Um, you know, because if you if you've got what is near enough a complete new squad, you know, you need you need them to you need them to bond with each other. You need them to gel with each other. That was why I was so happy that we got Mickey Mellon in as early as we did. Um, you know, it, it was. Um, um, I, th- I'm, I don't. I don't think. I don't think we'd gotten to the end of May yet before he was announced. And for me, that was key. You know, get him in nice and early. You know, give him time to work out what you know who what, who we can go for, who we can bring in, what he wants, what he wants to do with the team. You know, get like get the new players in, and we've and we've got a and we've got a few in. There's still more work to be done. There's still more signings to be made. Um, again, I've, I've I've gone off on one a bit there, but. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to it, and um, especially after, especially after a year and a a year and then some um, of watching it all online as well. I'm very I'm I'm very excited. But to, you know, get back to, get back to the games, um, you know, get you know, let, let let the let the new players get used to the crowd, get used to the fans, and etc. Um, so, I mean, and from that point of view, I'm very much looking forward to the season. Um, and as for how excited I am about the new signings, the signs are good. Um, but I'll be able to deliver more of a verdict on that when you know once um, you know because there's still work to be done once um, you know once this whole structure of the team is taking place you know once it starts to come together a little bit more it's it's coming together but it's still a work in progress if you know what I mean. Yeah, Liam Feeney's obviously joined as well. Liam Feeney, thirty-four yeah. years old now. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think he's bought in for his experience, or do you think he could be a key part of a team? Um, experience is one thing. Um, Continuity is another as well. Uh, there are still, there are still, you know, four or five players from last season that are going to be left over. Um, he, he, he's been promoted from League Two before. He'll, he'll, um, you know, he'll be a good player to have around the place as well. Just for, um, you know, for his maturity, for his experience. Um, he'll, like for, for some of the younger players as well, having players like that, and him and Peter Clark around will definitely do them some good. Um, I will say, Feeney was a bit hit and miss last year. You know, there were some. There were times when he was brilliant, and there were times when he was, you know, quite painfully average as well. Um, I, th- I think the new son that we've brought in today um, can't quite can't quite pronounce his name. Yes, um, it's Emmanuel Dia Survey, I think it is. I think that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I yeah, might be wrong. I, th- I, th- I think he might have been brought in with Feeney in mind as well. Six foot five striker. Um, you know, obviously Feeney is an excellent crosser of the ball at times. Um, so yeah, that there are certainly positives to Feeney uh, staying for another staying for another year at least. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And obviously, um, you know, going into next season, then I mean, obviously, too early to make a prediction right now. But you're looking at other League Two teams. Is there anyone you're particularly thinking could have a good season who you might be worried about at all, or do you think it's still um, too early to say in the transfer window? I think Port Vale will be quite strong. Um, that they finished last season very uh, in a very impressive way. Um, they've already been fairly busy in the transfer market as well. They've uh, they've brought in some they've brought in some good players. Um, I'll be um, I'll, I'll be interested to see how um, how Walsall get on as well. They've um, uh, they've brought a new manager in. They've um, I, I believe they've also been uh, fairly busy. 
Um, Leighton Orient, you know, they were quite hit and miss last season. Um, they, I, I believe um, I believe they brought in Kenny Dockett, who's a very good manager at this level, I think. Um, you know, tons and tons of experience. Um, and um, I'm a bit of an interest in this one. Bit of an interesting one as well is Hartley Paul because um, Dave Talliner has said um, has said that they, you know they need to bring in twenty players and um, and and he certainly exceeded expectations last year with them in the Nas- well the last couple of years in the national league with them as well. Um, you know, he's done a lot better than a lot of people thought he would do. So there's definitely a few names that spring that spring to mind as you know it will be very interesting to see how they get on. Say, so have you got a prediction then maybe for Tranmere next season? What your expectations are of them right now? Um, right now, I'd say at, at least um, at least maybe, at least seventh. I'd say at least seventh. I'd say. Um, and what, what I mean by that is, I think with Mickey Mellon's experience of um, getting out of League Two before, and some of the signs that we've brought in already, um, you know, Ryan Watson is a very, is a very exciting one. Northampton fans seem to think very highly of him. You know, he's from the Wirral. He uh, knows all about the club. Um, like uh, Chris Mary is intriguing as well, you know, young from Wigan, um, tw- 23, I think. A um, lot of potential, will be very keen to, um, will be very keen to see us what he can do. Um, and, but we've, we've still got more signings to make. We've still got, um, we're still a work in progress. So at the minute, I'd say at least seventh, but depending on our activity over the next, over the coming weeks and months, um, we will see whether my expectation might be changed slightly there. Okay, well, that's all we've got time for in today's app. Well, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you soon. No see you soon.